Can you see my screen? It's loading. Give it, yeah, there we go. Okay. okay, so so now we have Steve for a pillar wheel NFT ARPG sim game. Oh. Okay, can you still hear me? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, my um, my presentation and website can be uh, found at pillarwheel.io. Um, so I have two presentations for the first three minutes. Um, it's about our flagship product above, so below the game. And that is also, uh, the information can be found at pillarwheel.io and then you go under projects and that's our main game. We have a Trello board. Um, we have a 20 page white paper that I wrote last weekend or finished last weekend and, and published. Um, the game itself, um, that's our Trello board. Um, the UI is being uh, developed in Unity. Um, just a basic uh, Diablo type, uh, boy, he's what? She is walking very slowly here. Um, just a basic uh, uh, RPG game. Um, I got the idea, um, um, and it's supposed to be very basic, I, um, like a Diablo uh, style game. I got the idea because I was working at a development studio. Uh, we were playing uh, Diablo two or three um, during lunch. And then we decided that it was taking too much time. We found a, a game that was text-based and it would just have the player say that it was going to a dungeon fighting uh, monsters, um, getting loot, um, getting the loot, uh, bringing it back to um, um, to uh, sell. And it was just a basic, very basic routine. Um, so that was um, sort of the, um, no pun intended, the catalyst for it. Um, so um, I, and on the back side of it is um, is a database that's in SQLite that is uh, centralized, of course, because it's uh, SQLite. But I'm designing it to where it can be accessed, um, 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 of course, and connecting with um, uh, with a NAMI wallet and whatnot. All these things need to be connected, um, and that's what uh, the uh, uh, proposal will uh, help facilitate is connecting all of my different um, components together or help me. Um, I'm solo developing, so um, hopefully um, I could uh, um, purchase some freelance help. Um, so I'm not sure how much of my time is left. I have five seconds. Five seconds. <laughs> okay. Um, so that's pretty much the, the gist of the game. There's a, a, there's a lot in the white paper. Um, 20 pages worth. Um, the Trello board has a lot of the to-dos. Um, so the second part, uh, the other projects, um, just pillar wheel in itself, the way that I am, um, I'm trying to follow a lot of the other groups. Um, uh, Game-wise, like uh, Cyberbugs, um, I'm, I try to be in close contact with their group, um, and I'm certainly following their group very closely. Um, and then other groups, just seeing what they do. That's one reason I, I founded PillarWheel.io is just to kind of have a centralized location so people can have uh, transparency into the projects that I'm solo developing. And then once I get a team together, um, they can also go to this centralized location and uh, I get to know our Catalyst projects um, that we have. Um, active presently. Along with that is a open source initiative to put immigration documents on chain. So this is kind of my day job. Uh, my day job is with a uh, designated school official. I help facilitate a data feed that's between a uh, University of Arkansas, between the University of Arkansas and the Department of Homeland Security here in the United States about immigration concerns. And uh, there's a lot of data being, um, that's also centralized, that's also, that's being shared, uh, that really needs to be on the chain. Um, I, um, uh, 
talk to a lot of students, let's say that somebody's from a remote country, um, they typically put all of their immigration documents in a folder, a bunch of paper, and they uh, travel. Sometimes that travel can be very simple. You get into a car, you go to an airport, get on a plane, you go into a port of entry. <laughs> Boy, I'm simplifying that process. But sometimes uh, it, it's not it's it's not that simple. You're getting on buses and you're, um, you're traveling in multiple cars just to get to your airport. And, and so um, it could be mo a multiple days journey um, and your documents can get lost. Um, so uh, why not have some biometrics? Um, and so um, to facilitate some of that. So uh, that project is actually, um, um, it's not directly involved with Roots Wallet, but uh, I'm going to use Roots Wallet um, to kind of uh, save some development time. I'm mostly concerned about using um, open source initiatives like Roots Wallet to, to put uh, immigration documents onto the chain um, in order to get a uh, 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 immigration uh, uh, document um, issued that will facilitate a port of entry um, uh, for, for a student going to a US university. So, okay, so three minutes up, you wanna sum up or are you ready? Sum up, uh, yep, uh, just at pillarwheel.io. Uh, that's the best uh, uh, way of, um, you know, my contacts there. Um, my email address is at uh, pillarwheel at gmail.com. Um, our projects are also at this website um, for our catalyst projects that is um, under a link under projects. And I thank you for everybody's time. Right.